Hello, my name is Mark Sampson and in this video, which is going to be a quick video, I'm just going to show you how you can leave feedback in bulk in just a couple of clicks. Um, it's quite obvious really, but if you don't know how to do it, then um, you're just leaving feedback one at a time and it can take quite a lot of time if you sell a lot of items each day as I do. So first of all of course I don't need to tell you, you need to sign into your eBay account and then down the left hand side here you just need to go to sold and then of course as you no doubt would already be aware down here you can see where you need to leave feedback now I as a rule only usually leave feedback where I have received positive feedback myself um, so if we scroll down here I'm looking for items where I've received feedback but not left feedback now here that means I've received a bit of feedback and that because that's not lit or highlighted that means I haven't yet left feedback so that is one I want to leave feedback for and then likewise here likewise here now normally of course um, I expect what you would do is click on the leave feedback and uh, follow the steps to leave the feedback but you can leave feedback in bulk and how you do that is um, you just tick the boxes here for the items you want to leave feedback on so we just scroll down and I'm going to you can do one page at a time you see or a whole page at a time and as it is on that page there are just three but of course if I wanted I could leave feedback for all of these items as well as many as I wanted but by doing one at a time of course it's going to take a long time now um, now all you need to do once you've ticked all the boxes that you want to leave feedback for just make sure mine are ticked I think I've got three they are one two three scroll to the bottom and all you need to do is click on this feedback button and here we are and the items where you're going to leave the feedback for are there at the top and you can either type in one custom comment for all of them or you can leave randomly applied stored comments for each one so it'll just leave one from random from your uh, list of stored comments or of course you can just select one for each one that you want to leave feedback for I normally just choose randomly apply feedback which is what I'm going to do click on the leave feedback button and hey presto it's left feedback for those three items your feedback is being processed and will be completed shortly so it doesn't show straight away so be aware of that it doesn't show straight away um, so it's still showing that I need to leave feedback but it says it will be show it's being processed so you can be assured that in a few minutes it will show so um, I do hope that this very short video has been of use to you um, and of course you can also use that method for um, sending um, bulk emails if you want as well which is also very useful um, and I do that a lot as well which I'll probably show you in another video because I do want to show you the power of emailing your buyers so uh, that will be in another video but for now I hope that you have found that useful and if you have any comments on this video I'd appreciate your feedback and thanks for watching